Mr. Roeder. 51 year old Scott Roeder fiddled with the charging documents on a podium in front of him as the judge read the charges against him. You have been charged formally now with one charge of murder in the first degree, two charges of aggravated assault. You're going to be held at this point with no bond permitted. The judge also banned Roeder from contacting Tiller's family. I have a protective order that prohibits any contact with Gary Hepner, Keith Martin, or any family member of George Tiller. And Mr. Roeder, that means no direct contact yourself in person or indirectly through any other parties. It also prohibits any electronic communication by telephone calls, emails, text message, anything of that sort. Roeder made a brief appearance via a video link from the jail. The judge told Roeder that he would be assigned a public defender. Do you know how long it will be before you hear from one of those lawyers? Typically within 24 to 48 hours. A preliminary hearing is set for June 16th. Roeder is accused of shooting George Tiller to death Sunday as the doctor served as an usher at his Lutheran church in Wichita, Kansas. Roeder also is charged with aggravated assault for allegedly threatening two people who tried to stop him. After the hearing, the Wichita district attorney said Kansas would not be seeking the death penalty against Roeder. This is not a death penalty case. Why is that? The state of Kansas requires a number of predicate factors um, and special circumstances. And under the facts and circumstances that are made known at this time, the election has been to go with a first degree murder. In 1996, Roeder was arrested in Topeka, Kansas after being stopped by sheriff's deputies because his car lacked a valid license plate. In the trunk, deputies found materials that could be assembled into a bomb. He was convicted and sentenced to two years on probation and ordered to stop associating with violent anti-government groups. But the Kansas Court of Appeals overturned his conviction in 1997, ruling that authorities seized evidence against Roeder during an illegal search of his car. Roeder's ex-wife says his family life began unraveling more than a decade ago when he got involved with anti-government groups and then became very religious in an Old Testament eye-for-an-eye kind of way. Roeder's brother says he suffers from mental illness. Myra Lopez, The Associated Press.